My name is Zoe Walker. Not so long ago, I wanted to be a journalist. Now, I just want to hold my breath and sink. Not because I want to black out, but for the calm that comes beforehand. When thoughts die and memories drown. 90 seconds. That's about how long it takes for me. And suddenly, it's like none of it ever happened. Daddy, are we gonna play? Sorry, Pumpkin. You, you bet we're gonna play. Now, I know you're an expert, but are you sure you've looked at everything? Mm -hmm. Trust me, I got this. Okay. Then what color is... Um, that big truck way up there. Depends what part of the truck. Okay, Smarty. How about the exhaust pipe? <laughs> um, that's where all the smoke comes out. And it's gray. <laughs> hey, you are rocking this today, Zoe. Thanks. Looks like you're ready for the next level. What's the next level? You ask me one final question. If I don't get it on the first try, <laughs> you win the whole game. Let's play it. Let me just have one last look around. Ready? Okay, shoot. Um, how many stars are on my backpack? Hmm. This is a toughie. Is it six? Ah, uh, how'd you know? I use my superpowers. <laughs> but I'll tell you, you're getting hard to beat. Yeah. Oh, did I doze off? <laughs> Come on, back in the car. We still got 45 states license plates to spot. <clears throat> hey. Hey. You... You doing okay? Yeah, sure. It's, uh... You know, I'm fine, Michelle. We're good. Why are you guys acting weird again? It's nothing, hun. Just a long trip. I tell you, the only thing worse than feeding a dog fast food is smelling it again on the way out. Grandpa! Wait, I'm your grandpa? All this time, I thought you were my grandpa. <laughs> How far'd you walk? I was worried you got lost. Oh, just to the tree. You know dogs. They think they're the ones holding the leash. All right, crew, buckle up. I want to make it to Albuquerque before we stop for the night. You're listening to Drive Time on KMW, Blackstaff's first and finest. It's another beautiful Arizona afternoon, and your weekend starts here. Hmm. Or maybe I'm just too frightened by the sound of it. Pieces of love fall down, but the head is set. Oh, it was good. So, what's next? License plate game? Another round of row, row, row your boat? <laughs> she fell asleep halfway through your solo. You definitely get first prize for keeping her entertained. I am not entertaining. I am shepherding. <laughs> you are my flock, and I plan to herd you to St. Louis in high spirits. <laughs> nice try. Wasn't taking the scenic route your idea? I wanted to do this trip at 30,000 feet. Oh, 
I'm not complaining about the drive. I'm just trying to picture Vince living in the Midwest. Let's just pretend this is a vacation. Family trip, Route 66. We collect a few pressed pennies, <laughs> and then back to Sacramento. Vince, we can't. That's not our life anymore. Look, I'm just trying to stay positive. <laughs> You've got your tenure. I've got my new job. <laughs> Couldn't make me work for a pet food company if it was the only job left in the country. Jim, I don't think that's helping. Ten thousand bucks. You should have gone for the jugular, sued those bastards at the airline the way they pinned that thing on you. Not signed some settlement paper. I haven't signed it yet. But you still want to, right? I know it's your call, but I think it's time to put this whole thing behind us. I know, it's just... It's hard. I and mean, once I sign, that's it. I'll never work for an airline again. I know. Vince was a good kid, but he always did let people walk all over him. When you were small, you asked me to buy you these cheap action figures so you'd have something to give the kids at school when they picked And what was I like in high school, huh? Ouch. Sorry. I shouldn't have said that. If you two didn't want me to come, you could have said so. Zoe wanted you to come. Michelle, please, just don't make it worse. Sure. Hey, I'm glad we're spending a few days together on our own. And like I said, once we get settled in the new days... <laughs> Are you okay, Pumpkin? What happened? She's just shaken, I think. Lucky we're still in one piece. <laughs> Man, the look on his face. I hope he didn't see our license plate. Nah. Stupid fucker was too busy yelling into the wind. That's the one. 28 Northwood. Ugly as hell. These houses all look the same to me. Jay, you ready? Jay! What? Head out of the clouds, little bro. Knew we shouldn't have brung him. Oh, come on. He'll pull his weight. Look, this is just like we talked about. There's enough cash in that safe to put the last few weeks behind us. We stay alive, we keep the house, everything goes back to normal. You haven't told me whose house this is. It doesn't matter who. You're always out skulking in the woods, climbing trees and all that. We all know you're good at it. And you want to help the family, right? You know I do. Then here's your chance. Hop that fence and find a way in. Whoa. Does Mom know you took that? Nope. 
But someone's got to watch your backs. We got one hour before they're home. If you hear three honks, you run like hell. Hey, let's party. Dale. The code. Jay can read. Don't screw this up, kid. We're counting on you. All right. You go do your Tarzan bullshit over the back gate. I'll try the garage. Never know when you might get lucky. It's the big bad wolf. Not funny. What happened? He's got a Doberman. I had to lock it in the shed. What's that? <laughs> Idiot. Whose house is this? Dante Romero. King of the pigs. Wait, the sheriff? Yep. You know Ma's beef with him goes way back. Even before he sent me to juvie. I know, but... But what? The way I see it, he owes us. So, we ought to fuck this place up a little while we're at it. Tyler said we only have an hour. Maybe we should start looking for the safe. Ah. Whatever. What'd you do that for? They might test it or something. Oh, come on. This is two rock, not NYPD blue. Now get looking for that safe. Did Tyler say where they went? Ah, uh, she's got health problems. Some kind of doctor's appointment or, uh, I don't know. He left his wallet. Told you he's an idiot. You find anything? Just a little cash. Maybe the safe's upstairs? Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. What are you doing? It's for my girlfriend. You don't have a girlfriend. Shut up. I'm working on it. Hey, when life gives you lemons, <laughs> come here. Help me get a little payback. We shouldn't waste time. And anyway, that's gross. Ah, uh, you're a fucking wimp. You know that? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Listen to yourself. All right, enough screwing around. You look upstairs, and I'll check the rest of the rooms down here. OK.
12 years repairing jumbo jets, you'd think I'd be able to fix a car. You okay? Yeah, sure. Seen one motel, you've seen them all. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna get a bottle of water. Jamal, Ryan's mom said I could stay over tonight. Don't wait up. Hey. Sorry about that. Thanks for waiting. Hi. We got in an accident a few miles east of here. I don't suppose you have a couple of empty rooms and the number for a tow truck? Ooh, no dice. Our mechanic's away in Tucson for the weekend. All right, then. Just the two rooms. That'll be 70. <laughs> Cash only. I've got, uh, 52. That's enough for one room. Hey, Joyce! I'm doing something! All right, fine. One room. Here you go. Hi, I'm Michelle. Thanks so much for accommodating us. Well, we're not exactly full. Glad to help. It was a fuse again. Problem with not having breakers is... Oh, hey. Welcome to Two Rock. Paul, do me a favor. Go ask Norman to tow this guy's car back here to the lot. Ah, dang. You burst a tire or something? I I'm pretty good at fixing stuff. Engine problem, actually. But you're welcome to try. It's a red SUV. East. You can't miss it. I'm on it. Hey, do I know you? Nah, people just mistake me for Clint Eastwood. Ugh, <clears throat> oh, thank God we're out of that heat. <laughs> Are we on vacation now? Do we get to go in the pool? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Our swimsuits are in the moving truck. And stop jumping on the bed, okay? Then, can I watch the Nature Channel? Please? Hey, I said stop jumping. I'll stop if you let me watch my show. It's educational. <laughs> All right, but only a half hour. Yay! Thank you, Daddy. And you have to tell me some cool facts afterwards. Man, we raised one hell of a negotiator. It's been a tough day. She can have this one. Oh. You okay? Ah, uh, I don't know. It feels pretty sore. Would you mind robbing it for a minute? Well, huh. this is cozy. Who am I sharing a bed with? Yours truly. Fair warning, I spoon uh. in my sleep. Well, I'm gonna take Zeus for a walk. Vince, uh, would you mind joining me? Didn't we just walk a mile? Well, he has to pee, and I want to talk to you about something. <laughs> sure, I'll come. We won't be long. Come on, Zeus. Here, boy. Yeah. I appreciate you standing up for me in the car earlier. Can't be easy having me yanking a chain like that when you two are so on edge. Are you about to give me marriage advice? Because if I recall, you walked out on yours. No, no. I just wanted to say thank you for these last few months. Getting to know you again, getting to know Zoe, it's been a blessing. I'm glad she got to meet you. Know the worst part about living with, well, with having this tumor in my head?
The question mark of it all? How long do I have? Am I making the right choices? <laughs> you make a good shrink, you know that? Yeah, <laughs> more like a neurotic patient. Well, you're not wrong. I do ask myself all those things, but they're not... What I meant is the guilt. The never-ending guilt. I disappeared for 30 years. I can only imagine how that must have been for you and your mother. Oh, so I could get high and flip off the world. Well, you came and knocked on my door in the end. Hmm. That couldn't have been easy. I appreciate that. And no, it wasn't. I'm sorry, son. I am. And I know I've done nothing to earn your trust, but I need to ask you something. Okay. The doctors, they say I might have as little as two years. They don't have a clue, of course. But, well, I know you said you could drop me in Tulsa, that I tracked down some friends there. Just spit it out, Jim. How would you feel about me living in a new house with you and Zoe and Michelle? Are you serious? Six months ago, I didn't even know you were alive. Now you want me to... to... I, I, I don't want to be sick in a hospital. I want to be around family. <sighs> Jesus. All right. I'll talk to Michelle. Really? I don't know what to say. Thank you. Come on, let's go celebrate. Oh, hey there. Got your car towed back for you. You were right. It's more than I can fix with duct tape and a socket wrench. What do I owe you? Nothing. Your guests? Get it round back, quick. What in the world? On the ground, now! I said, get on the ground! Good boy. Now hang on. You don't need to call for help. Nobody's gonna hurt you, okay? Right. Sorry. Look, we just came for the money, then we're gone. I don't know. Don't you know? Doesn't he tell you? Oh, sorry. I shouldn't pry. <laughs> Thank you. It's fine. I'm gonna try his office. Uh, that a boy. It has to be in here. Huh. Wonder what happened here. watching. That's cool.
least Tyler's keeping watch. Gross. Dale! I found it! What the? Where's the code? I lost the code. You lost the... No, you didn't. Tyler's gonna be pissed. But hey, shit happens. That's why we got plan B. Come on, help me with this. Uh, uh, oh, shit! Uh, almost had it, though. Come on, we still have time. We need to get out of here. You need to do as I say. No. Becky. Shit. <clears throat> Fucking grow a pair, okay? You get into the safe or the whole family's toast. C1, I got a 13506 in progress at 28 Northwood Drive. Send back up now. to go. You came back early. I don't know what happened. Your brother saved my ass is what happened. Did you get the money? We ran out of time. God damn it. Hold on tight. We lost him at the junkyard. You think they saw us turn in? No. They would have slowed. Listen up! We're not here to hurt you. We don't even want your wallets. We just need a place to lay low until we can be safely on our way. Don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Understood? <laughs> we understand. understand. Yeah, whatever you say. Good. That's what I want to hear. You, keep that dog quiet. Shh. It's all right, Tux. Let's just jack a car. Drive back the other way before they realize they're not chasing anyone. Too risky. If they got roadblocks. So? They don't know it was us. And it ain't like we got the money in the trunk. Vince, we need to do something. Hey, uh, guys? What? Look, I, I get that you need to hide, but do you need us for that? We could go to our room, stay out of your way. No one's leaving. Just stay down and stay quiet. At least you tried. We 
can't stay here. We can until dark. Then we set out cross country. It's our best shot. I'm telling you, we gotta drop move. the weapon. <sighs> Easy now. Let's I just... said drop it. <sighs> Let's all just take a deep breath, okay? It's my motel. I'll deal with them. No, he's right. Joyce, if that thing goes off... Then I'll scrape them off the walls. B but it don't have to be like that. I if we help these boys out of whatever corner they got themselves stuck in... I'm not helping them with shit. Show me your faces. I said, take off the masks. No. You're the Holt boys. You're the ones who hit our car. Paul, take the shotgun. I... I I'm sorry, I can't. Christ, really, Paul? You, grab the gun. <laughs> now point it at him. Uh, you do that, I promise you'll regret it. was right. No more guns. Should've held on to it. Hey, you get the truck hit away? It's... It's in a shutout back. Tyler, these people didn't do anything to us. They will if we let them. You and Dale, line them all up. I need to make a call. It's me. We got a problem. Desert Dream Motel. Think I don't know that? All right, shitheads. Over by the tables. You boys, you haven't hurt anyone, have you? Yeah, we killed the president. Ain't that right, bro? You're the middle brother. The one who got himself sent off to juvenile hall. Shut the fuck up. Why? Everybody knows. Joyce, don't. From what I hear, you're just like your daddy. Another fucked up Holt thinks the world's his to break. What, like this? <laughs> Or how about this? Shut it up. Now. He's a dog. He doesn't have an off switch. It's just nervous, Dale. I don't care what it feels. I want it to shut up. Zeus, remember me? I said, shut the fuck up. Dale, what are you doing? It's called controlling the room. By pointing guns at puppies? Wasn't breaking the Kasdan boy's jaw enough for you? Don't you start with me. Or what? You'll break my face too? Or are you just gonna shoot me? Zeus, quiet. Jim, give him here. That's it. Good boy. Nice and calm. Shit. Now put the gun down. You should be ashamed of yourself. You know what? I'm tired of you. Tape her mouth shut. I'm sorry.
What the hell is going on out here? Uh, she was annoying me. All right, it's settled. We stay put about an hour and leave once it's dark. Fuck, a whole hour? Hold on. Why do they have so much luggage? Who else are you traveling with, huh? You tell me the truth now. My dad and I ran off and joined the circus. You can come too if you want. A uh, real funny fat ass. Look, it, it's just him and the other guy. You know something? I don't like you. You got this look like you're scared shitless. Tell me I'm wrong. You don't know the first thing about who I am. Don't I? Nope. But this tough guy act of yours, that I can't see through. Let's just hope your walk's as cool as your talk. <laughs> It's a cop. What do we do? That's just Big Sam. He buys a soda, talks for a while, then he's gone. Jay, in the back. Go with him. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the cop. You hear me? Sure thing, boss. You two, keep your mouths shut and this'll all be over faster. <laughs> You're coming with me. Hey there. Evening. Hey, Sam. Paul, how's things? Slow as usual. Yeah, like my daddy always said. If you don't slow down, you don't see the wall before you hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Where's uh, Joyce and her kid? Upstairs? Oh, uh, Ash is at a friend's house for the night, and Joyce isn't feeling well. She's been in bed for days. Uh, sorry to hear that. Say, uh, you haven't seen three fellas in a blue pickup, have you? Maybe out on the road somewhere? Nope. Been here all day. How you liking the desert dream? Oh, uh, can't complain. Yeah, Joyce runs herself a tight ship. <sighs> so, who else are you traveling with? Oh, just me and my dad over there. Evening, officer. Oh. So, uh, why the booster seat? Huh? I saw your car when I pulled in. California plates? Oh, I, um... I have a kid. Back home. But you know how it is. The seat lives in the car. True. We got two living in the back of the Bronco. Can I uh, ask what brings you to Two Rock? We're um, headed to Mexico for a little R and R. Oh, my wife and I love it there. Which city? Oh, um, Guatemala. Guatemala is a country. Gotta drive through Mexico to get there, though. Huh. Big Sam, where you at? <laughs> There's a dream, but I'm on my way back. Anyway, we're looking for three idiots who broke into the sheriff's house, if you can believe anyone would be that stupid. They're armed and dangerous, so if you hear anything, you call 911. Any idea who it was? Nah, they covered their faces so they uh, wouldn't be recognized. Oh, is that why? Which choice better for me? Daddy! Mommy said I can stay up late tonight. What took you so long? 
Hang on, who are you? I'm his wife. Is something the matter? You're his, uh, right. You said it was just you and your dad. Vince, what's happening? There are fugitives on the loose. Oh god, really? Bobby, look! I found a cool earring! Is this one of Joyce's? Oh, she was just looking for that. I thought she was sick in bed. Uh, oh. Wait, is that blood? Look, are you sure everything's okay here? I'm wondering the same thing. Bench, this is 1742. I, uh, I have suspicious circumstances at my location. Please send additional... and try to get us caught? to hold a gun anymore. Tell him to let her go. If I did that, it wouldn't be a standoff. Vince, maybe you should put the gun down. Or maybe you keep your toys for once. Is this really what you want? In front of your kid? I knew you'd be sensible, but I can't let you get away with that. 